Hello friends, welcome back to tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how we can represent a boolean function as a product of max terms. Suppose there is a boolean function f of binary variables x, y and z and is represented in a form of sum of min terms. Right? Here it is written in shorthand. Sigma denotes that the function is represented as sum of min terms. 3, 5, 6, 7 are the subscripts of min terms. x, y and z are the order of binary variables in the min terms. Now, then the complement of function f1 that is f1 complement would be the summation of those min terms which are not present in the function f1 right because for these min terms which uh, are present in function f1 the value of function would be 1 right these are those min terms whose uh, bind uh, whose associated binary number right which is the combination of values of x, y, and z, right? Gives for these values, the function gives the output 1, right? Now, the complement of f1 would be the sum of those min terms for which the function would give the value 0. So, the it would be the sum of those min terms which are not present in the function f1. Right. So the function f1 complement would be the sum of min term m0 plus m1 plus m2 plus m4. Now take the complement of both sides. When we take its complement, means we, when we take the complement of f1 complement, then it would be f1. And when we take the complement of these sum of min terms, right? Then by De Morgan's theorem, it would become M0 complement and M1 complement and M2 complement and M4 complement. As we know that complement of Mj, that is complement of a min term, is the max term of same subscript. So we can replace M0 complement by max term M0, M1 complement by max term M1, M2 complement by max term M2, and M4 complement by max term M4. Right? So when we convert it, uh, these uh, are uh, these uh, max term into its original form right in the form of binary variables then it would become like this right so the function this function f1 can be represented as the product of max term m0 m1 m2 and m4 in shorthand it can be represented as like this right here this symbol denotes that this symbol pi denotes that the function is represented function is represented as a product of max terms and these number represents that the, these are the subscripts of the max term whose product form the function f1. These are the subscripts of max term whose product forms the function f1. x, y and z represents the order of binary variables x, y and z in the max term. Now we can find its complement also. We can represent the complement 
of this function f1 in the form of product of max terms also right so what would we do it's a complement complement of f1 will contain those max terms which are missing in the function f1 right now see here there are three variables so there would be 8 max term 2 raised to the power 3 equals to 8 and the subscripts of max terms would be from 0 to 7 so we can easily find out which max terms are missing in the function f1 we will uh, count from 0 to 7 and those numbers which are missing will be written in this f1 complement shorthand notation right so here the 3 5 6 7 are missing in f1 so these numbers will be present in f1 complement thank you very much